everyone, Sunshine Shimmer here, and I'm going to help you make your very own quarantine survival kit. Now most people would tell you to put in hand sanitizer, gloves, medication, body spray, wipes, Kleenex, maybe even a mask if you have one. But you guys already know all that stuff. So here's what you really need in your quarantine survival kit. Stuff that will really help to make sure you don't go crazy. First, you need a bag. I just have this leftover travel toiletries bag since we're not going anywhere for a while. The second thing you're gonna need is an inspirational quote. I know, I know, super cringy, but it really does help. This quote in particular helps me keep going. And I can't really explain why. I don't really know why this works, but it does, trust me. You just have to find the right quote for you. Third, you need some kind of activity book. My personal favorite is the fill-ins. Fourth, comfort food. This one always keeps me sane, with the exception of a sugar high. Fifth, you need your comfort food book version. This book has kept me sane through every terrible time in my life. No matter what. Do you have a book like that? Put it in your quarantine kit. Last but not least, and I know you guys are going to laugh at me for this, put in your security blanket. Now that could be a blanket, it could be a stuffed animal, it could be a pillow, whatever brings you the feeling of safety and security, put it in there because that's what it's for. It's for making you feel safe and secure. So why not have it? I know this is cringeworthy, but this one is mine. It's seen better days. But it still brings me that feeling of safety and security. So, it's going in my quarantine survival kit. Finally, I have a list of things for you guys to do while you're in quarantine. Read a book. Any book. A book that you're putting off reading. Anything. Learn a new talent. That could be a simple talent, like trying a new hairstyle, or it could be a difficult talent, like learning how to play a new musical instrument. Watch a new show on Netflix, or Prime, or Hulu, or whatever you have. Try to make it a show that you've either been putting off watching, or make it a show from another country, if you don't mind subtitles. Make a creative DIY. That could be a DIY on clothing. That could be a DIY on home decor. Whatever you want. Do a Mad Libs. If you don't have one, make up your own story and write down what you want to put in the blanks. Try a new recipe with the challenge of using only the ingredients that you have already in your kitchen. Do a treasure hunt around your house or yard. I know Easter's coming up. You could do an Easter egg hunt. Whatever you feel like doing, make it a list that's pretty general so that it's easier to find things around your house and it's not too obvious what they might be. Uh, do coloring. Color 
on your phone with a coloring app or go old school and get a coloring book like a real little kid Disney princess coloring book and just go to town with some crayons play a board game any board game if you're with your family if they're with your roommates um, just play a game you haven't played in a while make it interesting maybe add some new challenges to the game clean or organize an area of your house or apartment that maybe you've been putting off cleaning because you didn't have the time now you do uh, last but not least do something that you've been putting off maybe that's making a new workout routine maybe it's just changing your style up whatever it could be try doing it see how it works out you're not around anybody who can judge you so why not I hope you guys have a lot of fun doing these things in the quarantine. If you made it to the end of this video, comment down below what color shirt you are wearing and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.